today we're talking about how to monetize your following how to make money from all these things that we're telling you to do and next in um, may we're gonna do the meetup 101 uh, but again we really strong, strongly recommend um to all of you guys that they have done the um the two day already if you want to have a little bit more knowledge around meetup i would suggest to watch again uh, the pre work webinar that happens next monday because it will help you um to get a refresher i reckon around mm -hmm. that all right so here's what we're going to talk about today i actually um waiting to go live on the mafia so that we can get some more people uh, to join us as well and then we're gonna get started we've got someone else hey sarah if you, if you want to say hi you can talk to us in the question <laughs> maylene how are you maylene good to see you there okay we're about to start the facebook great 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 all right hi fm and hi jamie hello hello mafians how are you i'm um, just to let you know we just started the um webinar the vip webinar today we're talking about how to monetize your following uh, so join us on the webinar you know how to get on it if you don't um you are a vip so you should have access from the membership site uh, you should be able to just jump on so uh, let us know if you can get in but we're gonna get started and then we're gonna say goodbye without saying goodbye let's go so, all right so the reason why i think a lot of people don't monetize how they want to um, is because they may not understand the opportunities that they're missing yes. and if you don't know what you're not doing then you're not going to do it yes yes <laughs> does yes. that make sense yes so in this we actually wanted to frame what other opportunities you guys can have so vips you're all in there jump on the um webinar because we are about to close this off um is the vip webinar hey craig and marcia uh, the vip webinar jump on here because you can see the powerpoint and this is gonna get a shot in literally two minutes um so we we'll want to make sure that you're all gonna come along so um, don't want to miss the opportunities we're going to cover first of all the opportunities of uh, meetup and then the opportunity of um facebook and then the opportunity of your half day workshop um so those are the three things that we believe that um, we've been around we went to meetups we've been to facebook groups we are checking on you and we're seeing that some things are missing so and if think, you're sorry. watching on here jump on here because we're causing this down now because it's only for the vip and mafians yeah. see you soon and I was going to say, we also have a lot of events going on here. Yes. Um, so it's been really, really cool for us to um, to be at some Mafians events and see what they're doing amazing at, because there's been some pretty awesome stuff going on in the Mafia Hub, I have to say. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Hey, Irene. Hi, Irene. Good to see you here. Okay, let's go. Okay. We've so got an hour and we've got lots of information we that we want to share. So you can always get the recording if... Um, if you want in the uh, as you know in the mafia yeah. and because you're here live please ask us questions yes. please say yes please say i don't agree with that or please share your opinions because that's why that's one of the advantages oh, of being i've done live. that i've been there all, all, all this stuff yeah exactly we want to hear it so we don't like talking to ourselves yes do we <laughs> i love talking to you oh i guess <laughs> okay all right so the first one on meetup you want to make sure that you are advertising your workshop on meetup yes totally of course we say not to do that straight away not as soon as you start on a meetup so you're watching this and you're doing the main group then it's not um it's not the time right, right. you want to build trust the first but if you've done the february group then it's time for you to start start to promote your workshop on your meetup for sure yes yes i'm sure i am <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> the next one advertise your webinar so create a, a meetup event for your webinar. Yes, yeah, so when we say advertise on Meetup, we mean schedule an event on Meetup. And instead of being your Meetup event, your evening event or morning or whatever you're doing, you can do a webinar, you can do a workshop. If you do a webinar, make sure that you say webinar so that people know that, that there's no actual venue that they're gonna come physically. Um, and just go for it. Like it's really important to advertise um, and promote all these things that you're doing in all in the platform that you have. You have you have a group, please don't just go I've got a group of a thousand people, but I don't want to do meetups anymore, so I'm not going to be active on this group. It was like crazy. No, no, no. You can still like, so that's why we're saying the first year of the Mafia, you probably want to do an event every month or every three weeks or four weeks. And then eventually you want to start to slow it down. When I say one year, but some people are slowing down after six months. As long as you 
depends on how much uh, uh, traction. traction and business you're getting yeah. from it. Right? If you're getting crazy busy, then you can spread it out as long as you do something else, like do webinars and do something else. So you're still showing up as active online. And then you can slow down to two every two months and then every three months. And then what we do now is every three months, like four times a year we do a party, um, which is a networking event slash party. And that's what we promote on the meetup. But that doesn't mean that the whole the rest of the time the Mawa meetups are empty. No, actually, what we didn't put in here is Avatar is guest speaking. We, oh, I'm gonna yeah. add that. <laughs> yeah, so I would, I, I would put your guest speaking gigs in there because obviously that's another thing that we promote. And the other day we spoke at um at the um oh, well, I always Bayside Women in Business. Thank you, darling. I don't know why I always forget. That's, like, that's why you keep me here. You know. I know that's your, your memory. <laughs> And um, yeah, it's the best side group is amazing, and and uh, and we were promoting, and we got five people in there. And you think that we look good by you know coming along as a speaker? We got five tickets sold for you. Hello, you got 100, 100 for 16 inches. So it was like you know uh, quite a few money for 70 bucks. 70 bucks there for you. There you go. So it's always about you know what um, um, yeah what opportunity you can get from having this amazing group. Yeah. Yep. And make sure on Meetup that you're replying to all Meetup messages and all comments that are on the Meetup events. Yeah. That's one big thing that we see not happening sometimes. And we go, oh, it's a missed event or missed opportunity. Opportunity all the time, yeah. And ask for email and mobile and follow up. So you know how we, we talk to you that when you are doing an event at the bottom, you should have that question that says, what's your email address and mobile phone for emergencies? If people don't reply, don't just go out, people don't reply. You just want to message them until they reply. Mm -hmm. So private message them and say, hey, you have a RSVP, but however, you didn't give us an email mobile, please, you know, this is for emergencies, da, 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 da. And sometimes people give you one or the other. And what we do is just keep following up. And it's important because this is gold, you know, it's your group, it's your opportunities, and you just want to make sure that you get that momentum. Mm -hmm. Another one is to keep sending emails from Meetup. Using the Meetup platform, make sure you're sending emails. And not just from Meetup, actually, because when you do events, you might get people from even Bright from all these places. So use those emails as well and send a newsletter out. I remember that until probably a year and eight months ago, I wasn't emailing people from my database. I don't know if I told you this. I don't know if you did either. Okay, so I was I was sending emails only from my from Meetup because I thought, you know, I don't want to annoy people. You know those things, mm -hmm. right? When you want to keep yourself small and you're just making an excuse, that's what that was me. And I was like, and someone came to my business and said, why? I'm like, oh, I just to think about it. And I tried to find something clever to say because it was, really wasn't the reason. It was only my fear screaming in my head. I don't want to annoy people. And it's like, well, you know, do people really open their emails from Meetup? Not everyone does. And you're missing out on all this bunch of people that don't read emails from Meetup and they would have all loved it. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, true. Yep. Yep. So I started to email send a newsletter once a week because I thought that, you know, more than that would be annoying. And then now there's people that tell me you should send me an email more often because I love your emails. I'm like, shut up. So <laughs> yeah. that's how we grew to 9,000 people because it really um, helped. Need to pick up emails area, Irene says. My VA not quite ready for this one yet. We'll ask her again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. she'll do whatever you train her to do. You're great. You're a great team. <laughs> you are. You really are. Okay. So then the other one is your magic PDF. You know, if you've been to the boot camp uh, or if you haven't been to the boot camp, you can watch it back. It's now live. Um, you can create your own magic PDF. And we strongly recommend that you have your magic PDF as a sponsor of your meetup mm -hmm. um, because that will give you emails and promote it everywhere. Like, every social media possible yeah. right yeah. go crazy on it another one is even having a sponsor on your meet having yourself yeah. as a sponsor on your meetup I'm yeah. Add that. <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely speaking of sponsoring yeah because all this stuff we talk about in the two day but obviously uh some of you will get a little bit overwhelmed and you go ah so this is a bit of a reminder of all the things that you can do opportunities that can come up from your uh, meetups and obviously cross promoting between meetups, within mafians, between um, 
people of influence between, you know, like when we want to collaborate with someone, they said that would be a great opportunity. What we do is that we help them. So, for example, based on uh, women in business, that we are actually promoting the export. Why? Because there is a huge opportunity for us as well. So it's a win-win situation. When I promote someone else, I don't just uh, help in them. It's a win-win situation. Yeah. And obviously, cross-promote. There is a video in the mafia about it. So go and go and have a look. Um, because is a is a is a webinar is a vip webinar mm -hmm. call to action at the meetup event so Gemma. i've been to so many meetup events of mafians where there's no call to action they literally end their 15 minutes of magic or the speaker ends and sometimes they don't even do the 15 minutes of magic oh, yeah this is Maybe true we have <laughs> we're just adding to this list <laughs> um but there's no call to action i i can't even tell you how many times it happens more often than not and that's very sad to me they yeah. don't say everybody get out your phone okay yeah true. here's the next meetup there's 10 free tickets rsvp now they don't use that strategy and that is such a huge strategy true. so having that call to action to rsvp to yeah. the next meetup is huge very amazing. powerful amazing very powerful and not just that is like you know talk about your um uh, lucky door prize actually i think this is the next one yeah lucky door prize you know use your lucky door prize give away your product give away yes. your stuff i can't <laughs> believe how many people um they go okay you're the speaker francesca you give away your stuff and they close the night there and i'm going what okay, is yours what, what is, is your yours? you know the call to action should be invite people um to your facebook group from the meetup event yeah. you should give away your lucky door prize and you should talk about what is your next offer by when you give away the lucky door prize that offer should be you know your deal and, and talk about that. That's, that that's your opportunity right there to get clients and get people talking to you um and i've also thought the other day why not tell people at your meetup that you've got a 50 minute chat for free to do with people like why not you might get some people that want to chat with you and then you know following the boom model uh, if you haven't watched the boom model on the membership side i would suggest you to watch it um you know following the boom model you get clients from it so there's so many more things that you can do and one of them is have crew at your meetup Make sure that you have crew because this can create a missed opportunity if you're trying to do everything. Let's say Francesca, yes. you've been so excited to come yes. to my meetup event. Yes. Been looking forward to it all week because you just you yeah. you see me on Facebook. You want to talk to me. Yeah. But I'm too busy registering people. Yeah. And I'm too busy setting up yeah. my table. And I'm yeah. too busy busy messing with chairs. Yeah. And you don't get a chance to talk to me. And then sometimes I won't think that you're famous or successful if you're doing it all. Exactly. I would just think oh, you're just an organizer. Right. But if I have crew there and I I'm and I'm Whoa. free and I'm free to mingle and, and I it's can your talk event, to you. I'll be like, oh, who's this but super organized or all these people working for her? Wow. Yeah. So make sure mm -hmm. you have crew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I already said it. <laughs> you did. <laughs> but the boom model guys, like you you should have maybe I was even thinking that literally that this happened in the shower the other day. I was having a shower Too and personal. I was like, too much information <laughs> and i thought i need to send a message to my team and, and, and suggest that to people i literally was like that this is how bad i am and um and i was thinking you know like you all should have uh, your offer of your 50 minutes in the meetup yeah. as a sponsor you can go i offer 50 minutes for free or as an event you could set up an event saying i am offering on that day I've got three hour locked in to book a 50 minutes. If you're interested, I'll just be here. Yes. Shut up. I'll just come up with yeah, that. In the we shower. have more people here. We have people popping in oh, and not good. saying hi. Who is here? Say hi to us. Chris, Doug, Linda, Melin. Paula. Linda, darling. Linda. You have to watch back the pre work webinar yeah, that we just did. It's a two hour webinar is coming. Um, we're gonna uh, send it to you as soon as it's uploaded. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about the boom model a, a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. Okay, so boom, B-O-O-M stands for build trust and build relationships. Hi, Paula. Hi, Paula. The O is organize a chat, so a free 15 minute chat. O is make sure you have an offer or a package ready to go. M is for money. Show me that money. <laughs> and so this is where you can make money off of your package. And also, um, we wanted to remind you that people can have payment plans. Yeah. You know, if you have a super offer for 250 bucks, if they pay up front, 
make it 300 if they want a payment mm. plan. Mm. So I, I can't believe how many people like just um, took what I said uh, literally and I'm going, no, 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 no. Like, obviously it's the best option for you is if you can, people can pay in full because that would be your best option. But um, let's say if someone wants to pay $250 in full and they don't have that, you can say, you know, I'm happy to split the payment to, uh, you know, always try with the highest amount. So say we'll split the payment in two and then they go, no, we still can afford it. Okay, we'll split the payment in three. But obviously if you split in three, then it's going to be more expensive. So if you split it in, in two, then we're just going to be, uh, you know, uh, $300, but if you split it in three, then it's going to be, you know, $350. Always yeah. try to make an even number that is easy for people not to um, to have a mess. And always have to try to um, come up with the, something to get them to book now. Like, you know, okay, I used to call. say, for, so I used to say either you can direct deposit in my bank, that's fine, but to confirm this price, you have to send me the a screenshot that you've done it right now because obviously I'm not seeing my bank until tomorrow and whatever or the day after so I need to make sure mm -hmm. always make sure that the person you keep them accountable in in making the step to work with you so he doesn't show you your, your and it's not about pressure no no, no. It, it's a, it's about you know uh, sticking like it's a great lesson for your clients as well like if they are in business as well to go you know, you're not someone, you know, business is business and, and you are running a real business. It's not a hobby uh, because if the thing that you're running a hobby, then they might cancel, they might not take it seriously, they might not take, you know, anything that you do and put into action. Yeah. So it's very important that you, st I've, I've learned something massive in my business that money is money and business is business. And once you are, a co once you cover that, then you can be the coach and you can be friendly and you do what you we're talking about business and money i just there's there's no um uh, there's no mess making mark around because it's not I, I still have to pay bills so why would i you know uh, change my rules for every single person so try to stick to your rules but have you know a payment come up with a, 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 a deal yes there's, there's they good pay in full both. that's the best option yeah yeah but if, if not, just find a, a way that works for both of you, stick with it and move on. Yeah, because I've heard of too many mocking saying, oh, they said they didn't have 250 bucks. Okay, well then say, what do you, you want to make? Yeah, what do you have? What can you put down? That's fine. We'll work with you. We'll do a payment plan. I'll take 150 down and we'll do, you know, two payments of 75 off of that. You know, yes. something like that. So you're always... Always just to get the, the biggest amounts down. Right. Yeah, right. always. Mm -hmm. So so don't take um don't do the disservice to them that you buy the bullshit. Sorry. Right. But I have it's to say true. that it's there was true. another way to say it. Um because if if a client is telling they don't have money, that's probably why they need to work with you. If you help them with the mindset, if you help them with uh, whatever it is yeah. that you're helping them, um, or even you know, if you're working in health, they still need to work with you because the reason why they don't have money probably because they don't have energy uh, to go out there and that's hustle. True. So there is all these things they are connected to the reason why they don't have money. So you need to help them and you need to uh, make sure that you don't do the service of believing the uh, excuses because they're only excuses. Everyone can work. Um, with someone like you know, I've I've lately decided not to go ahead with with one of the things. I wanted to do multiple things and then just put everything into into uh, pause for now. Not because I cannot afford it, but because I've decided that I want to focus on someone else. So yeah. uh, I I would you know if whatever is priority, your your clients are gonna do. So you need to make sure that you explain your priority very high so that people will come along and work with you. Mm -hmm. um, any questions so far? I would like to see the people that are watching. Have you done any of the, actually, I'm going to go back. Have you done any of this or, or, you know, is any of this that you go, wow, I'd never thought of that one. I'm going to do it. Or, you know, something go, yeah, I've heard that before. I haven't done it yet. Right. So what, one of, one of these, I would like to hear from you guys, uh, where are you at and including the board model, obviously, because it's right there. Um, so tell us where you're at in the meantime that we move on to the next one. Cool, cool, cool. I think this is a very powerful um, example, of Jamie, because that's what we um, want to make sure that the markets, you know, there's a lot of people that um, are making a lot of money from this strategy and there's some mm -hmm. people that are not as, um, uh, you know, monetizing it as well. So we will Or they're really giving up too fast. They're going, oh, look, I did five chats and nobody wanted it, so it doesn't work. 
it's and that's not true it yeah. does work you just how many did how many chats did you have to do oh, in the beginning Santa Marisa. I did the first week I did 20 chats and again not to get chats is not that I put it in one in one group and that's it I put it like in 20 groups and I got 20 chats like I got one type of group like literally I was going crazy yeah. um and so to get the 20 chats of the 20 chats probably 15 um maybe 12 I did the other ones didn't show up cancelled or whatever uh, and then all those 12 I probably got one um signed up and like and i was like oh this doesn't work and i was thinking actually oh, maybe it's a good thing and then i kept doing 20 each week and then i got better and better and better at converting and then i started to call back all the people that i did the first week and going hold on a second i've got i've got um, another 50 minute chat for you and then i will do the 50 minute chat for it wasn't them. even then, 15 minutes at the end wasn't it like five uh, you were able to go boom at the beginning <laughs> the 50 minutes was half an hour and then it became like faster and faster and seriously i was a machine like i became so good at it that i could like I, the other day i did it at one of the events live and people wanted to sign up to my own life coaching package that I don't do anymore. It's <laughs> true. It's true. And I was like, no, guys, it's not for sale oh, right now. That's Sorry. Funny. That's funny. Okay, Sarah B. Uh, she says, hi, can you explain this on Meetup? Send this me message to all members, sub subscribe to organizer messages and a custom list. So We're talking about Meetup uh, next month, next in, month. In, in, uh, in specific. But yeah, you can choose any of those. You can choose if you want to send uh, just keep it as send an email to all members, subscribe to organizers, so that, that way you send an email to everyone. Or if you click on custom list, they may say you can choose what event you want to email them about. So you can, there's a drop down box and you can choose which one uh, they want to uh, connect about. Um, that hopefully makes sense. But next month, we're going to do a, a, a one on one, very clear on all those things. And that, that question will be answered yeah, in there. As different from RSVP's emails. I don't understand. So you're saying, um, so emailing people who have or have not are organizer messages is everyone, yeah, and then RSVP yes is the people that are RSVP yes yeah. for that specific event, yeah, and RSVP yet is what who has an RSVP yet for that specific event, right? Yeah, I think that should make more sense. But yeah, again, we're gonna cover a meet up in details yeah. um, next month. So that will be like a, like we did for Facebook last month. Um, this was the the one that people voted for this month. So we had to stick with this, but we're definitely going to do um, meet up one, one, zero, one. <laughs> All right. All right. Now we're going to talk about some common missed opportunities from Facebook. Oh, Sarah says few. I thought it, it only went to the organizers. No. Hi, Michelle. Michelle's just joined us. Hi, Michelle. Yay. So one of the... Everyone else, so nobody, nobody, nobody commented. So did you guys do any of those? Or did you learn something new that something maybe it was a little new. nudge to remind you? Melin, Paula, Sarah, Doug, Irene, Linda. I think this is the quietest you. I've ever seen you guys. Chris. <laughs> what is everyone? Yes, Sarah's doing, doing lots. lots. Good. Um, Linda said she could offer calls in more groups. Go awesome. Linda, go Do Linda. It. Have you done the boom model? Did you, did you get into calls? Did you have any clients from it? She's doing amazing in Germany. You are doing so many interviews, babe. That's yes. so good. So good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so the common missed opportunities from Facebook. The first one is make sure that you introduce every new member to your group. And that's really important because it tags them so they get a notification. It gives them an opportunity to introduce mm. themselves and people are always looking for opportunities to introduce themselves and share what they do um so make sure that you're introducing in your group every new member oh, oh michelle says she's been to meetups and has three clients this week yay wow yay. i love it i love it i love it that's very good all right so sarah you're asking um how to introduce every new member just tag them Tag them in a post in your Facebook group. Yes, yeah, so you go into posting and then you say welcome, welcome and then you add all the new people. And, and how to find all the new people? You go into members um, on your group and you can see by date who, who is the newest one. Yeah, so Irene's doing promotions for workshops and meetups. Haven't offered anything for a while. No one said yes for my earlier ones. Don't give up, Irene. Keep Call going. Call them back. You keep going. 
You're the social worker. <laughs> yeah. Michelle says new one. New one. I'm not sure what that means. Um, hi, Maylin. My comment box just dis disappeared just now. She's back. <laughs> ah, good. Uh, Linda says she's definitely made progress, but at the moment she has her daughter the whole time and work while she's there, but you still manage to have new clients in a retreat and sign up. Wow. No excuses, right? Look well at you. Done. And you're pregnant. And you Sarah, I shared oh. I shared with you how to tag in the last um, uh, Facebook 101. So maybe please go back to that and have a look again because it's all in there. So I would strongly recommend to Sarah to watch that video a couple of times because uh, you know, that will explain it to you. And if it still doesn't answer your question, do hashtag question in the Mafia Academy and ask your question. Every Monday, I'm looking for questions to answer, darling. <laughs> true. All right, so mailin has been crewing and wor workshop by offering door prizes. Awesome. Good. Ah, Irene has a new idea she'll share next week. Ooh. Uh, Maylin has checked. She's only done 50% of the list. That's okay. Don't be down on yourself. Don't be sad. It's just a little That's... reminder because it was a good reminder for us too when yeah. we were putting the list together, to be honest yeah. with you. All right. Linda says, do you think it would be too short notice to do a half day relationship mid-May, like a relationship workshop? It's it's nearly a month to go. I Two would weeks, say three weeks. I would say at least one month for you to, to promote it, but yeah, you can do it. Yeah. All right, Michelle, she has a full half day workshop this weekend. Wow, Go, Michelle. Uh, Maylin, her live videos are building a lot of trust. They are, Maylin. I've seen them. Yeah. You're getting lots of interaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, your yeah. consistency is paying off. I'm excited. Well done, Maylin. Now, Maylin, to those videos, you should tell, and that call to action from the video should be your 15 minutes. If you want to chat with me for 15 minutes, I've got five, the first five people that say, yes, I will do it. Either yeah. here or in your language, whatever, whatever works. Yeah. So Linda says, yes. Uh, Amy, sorry, just got on. Don't be sorry. We're happy to have you here. Uh, Maylin's Facebook group changed to a platforms for true stories. There you go. Mm -hmm. The ener energy is changing among members as well. And her half day workshop is up on the 12th of May. Awesome. Well Set the date and it will happen. All right. Linda had her first hater. I just spit. If you had oh. the first hater, it means you're doing well. You're on the right track. You are. If you didn't, maybe you should add them today. If you haven't had your first hater, that means you have not working hard enough. <laughs> All right. Last person, and then we're going to move on. Thank you guys for being active. I know. Love I've set dates for half day May and June. Well Way to go, Amy. All right. So, and then it's great for you guys to learn what we're about to share now. Okay. So introduce every member on Facebook and tag them and ask them to introduce themselves. Um, you want to make sure that you pin post your, um, the pin post that you have on your Facebook group is about your business as well, not just about the group. Um, obviously, this is all, if anyone is watching that is new, this is all once you've built enough trust in the group. So at the beginning, we avoid all this stuff. It's after like you build enough trust and you got the momentum and they, and they see you as a leader, then you start to promote yourself in your business. Yeah. So um, obviously, they introduce every member. It's fine. But when I talk about promoting uh, and talking about your business, just hold that off until um, I'm looking in and out on internet, currently setting up my paid leadership assessment and paid mastermind group um, and first half of the month. Yay! Wow, well done, go, Doug. Doug. Good, 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 good. I love it. All right. 60 second story pitch, always have your story pitch in there. So if you, um, in the end of today workshop for the new people, we're gonna uh, set that up for you. We're gonna do a video for you. But if you have done uh, the today already, I'll suggest to redo your welcome video for the uh, Facebook group and add your story pitch to it. Uh, and then once you've done your story pitch, then obviously talk a little bit about more your business and then talk about the rules. So mm -hmm. it's sort of like, you know, attached to the whole thing that we did today with a little, bit, a little bit more promotion, not too much, just a little bit. Then we want to reply to each comment and post because it's your group, right? Imagine if I was just saying to Jamie before, imagine yeah. if you're in an event and you're on stage with the microphone and everyone talks and everyone starts to talk and commenting and you just sit there like this. And listen to everybody. Like literally, like a <laughs> tennis ball. Like just watching the tennis playing, right? 
It's like it's your group, right? You need to be interacting. You need to take, you know, lead the group and take the ownership and control of back and say, okay, now next person that talks is that, or, you know, next comment is going to go up is that. Or, you know what I mean? Like you need to be the person that interact and keep the momentum and the interaction yeah. and the fun going because you're the leader. Mm -hmm. And make sure you step up as the leader. Yeah. So it is your group. They're looking up to you. So make sure that you're there for them. Yeah, and be consistent. If you disappear for a week, what do you think other people are going to do? Yeah. You need to be the leader and the example to people for people to lead. Yeah, and do a live follow. video in your group at least once a week. <laughs> at least follow. once a week. Irene, I agree with you that you have to be careful as sometimes people try to take over and make it about them. Yes, absolutely, Irene. Absolutely. Yeah. So Amy says, is this your Facebook group? Yes. yes, we're talking about Facebook group up here. So if you haven't done it today yet, we'll, we'll cover this stuff. But this is just a recap for people that have done it and they're not monetizing all of these opportunities for you to monetize it. Yep. Um, another common missed opportunity is asking questions. Because what do you get when you ask questions from your group? Content. Content. <laughs> so you can create so many things from it. You can do so many videos and, you know, and like ask questions like, guys, what would you like to learn this week? Or, you know, and you can do a video about it. You can interview someone about it. You can just do so many things. There's so much opportunity by you being a leader of a group. It's just insane. Mm -hmm. um, invite them to post about the hashtag of the day. So every single day, every single uh, day, my team does a post saying, hey, today is about hashtag happy, share your happy photo down here. And then you get that conversation going, you get that momentum, and that's priceless. Yeah, so make sure that you interview uh, people of influence. Yeah, so Linda is doing that already. So Linda, yeah. once you start the group, I will gen, I will move it into, uh, into your group as well. I will start to share all those past interviews in there and, and show people that you, uh, you know, you are a person of influence because you interview people of influence. So, and then you might want to start to eventually close the group once the group has got thousands of people. Do it consistently in your group. That would be amazing. Mm -hmm. Promote your workshops in your Facebook group. I had, Hello. I had, um, you know, it's important that you can do that every day of the week. It's your group. You can promote in your group. You are allowed to do that. You're the boss. You can do whatever you want. Obviously, don't overdo it. And people will be like, okay, this is a pitch fest of the organizer. It's about, you know, a bit of a balance. But if you have a workshop, to, you know, in a few days and it's not promotion day, uh, do it. Go ahead. Show him. <laughs> go, girl. There you go, Aline, Arini. All right, webinars. Um, one thing that we do is we do our webinars on GoToWebinar, and then we have a phone and a stand set up, and we post these webinars live as a Facebook Live in our groups. And today I was live in my business page, okay. and with the, uh, the other phone, I was live on the Facebook group. So in one lot, I was uh, live in two places, which gives that, you know, two burn with... One stone. There you go. I love how she made to my <laughs> phrases. It's the best. And the last but not least. Boom model. Do you think the boom model is important? We keep talking Shut about up. The boom model. <laughs> if you haven't watched back those four videos of the boom model, it's going to take you literally 11 minutes to watch them all. I could um, get my mafia power out. No. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Kidding. Well, Linda says good idea about the webinars and having the phones and yeah, it's yeah. super easy. It just gets you more viewers yeah. on your webinar. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. All right. So any any of these things that you go, oh, I haven't done it and I should do it, or yeah, I'm gonna start doing that. Let let's go. Run a live for the webinar. Yeah. So do open up a Facebook live in your group and and do a live on face on your face on your phone. So literally, yeah. like right now, we had uh, well, this morning when we done it this morning. I had the webinar here, on and the then computer. I had a Facebook on the computer. I had a Facebook live on my right hand side, and had the other Facebook live on a group on the other side. So I was live in three platforms in once. Shut up. You could have Instagram, babe. That you got lots of people on your Instagram. You could have Instagram on one side, Facebook on the other side, a webinar on here. <laughs> Shut up. Aren't the webinars for paid clients? No. no. You do. Well, you would do some. On. Only this for... one. This one is. Yes. The one we did before is, but the one that I did this morning, the FM business shortcuts, if whatever. It's we for do everyone. that every Monday, and it's free, and it's for everybody. It's, it's in my. It's it for everyone. We got like two hundred people as a VM there. Yeah. 
But we'll teach you all that, uh, Amy, at um, she's um, got it. She's got it. Yeah. number three, in action day number three. It's yeah. more about it. Yeah, no worries. Uh, Sarah B Sarah did a B. live on your 15 minutes of magic at your meetup. Yay! High well five. Well done. Well done. That's it. That's exactly it. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So we're going to move on to the next one, which is common missed opportunity from uh, getting bums and seat at your workshop. So people that um, we noticed that they could have had so many more people, but they haven't maybe uh, done a couple of things. Right. There's so many more things that you could do to promote it, but we're not talking about the actual promotion. We're talking about something else. Doug, can you do Facebook Live in one group from a computer and in another group from another? I don't think you can do two groups. I think you can do a page and a group or um, a page and your personal profile because obviously the page is considered outside of your personal profile. So with the personal profile, I don't think, I haven't tried, I haven't tried, but I assume that it won't be allowed because obviously it's, it's the same profile. You can't use that in two places. Yep, and Irene said, I thought you could share it into another place. You so can. exactly, Irene, what I suggest and what we do is that while I'm live in the in the Meetup Queen or in the personal profile, then what, during during while I'm live, my virtual assistants go and share it and put it everywhere. While else. you're live, not after you're done, while you're live. Yeah, yeah. and that's one other thing that I'm very um, uh, strict about with my team. When it doesn't mm -hmm. happen, I finish the live and say, ah, that happened like too late. It should happen straight away. Because obviously it's, it's giving me audience. I'm here talking to crickets and I'm like, I, should, I could have talked to 50 people if they uh, share it straight away, yeah? Mm -hmm. Sarah B wants to know, can you share lives across all three pages or is there a best way of doing it? You can, as soon as you go live on your personal profile or your business profile, then you can start sharing it, right? Mm. So that's what we do. I'm not sure that's what you're asking. So you could have either two devices that you're live on, two different devices, or you can get your team to share it everywhere. All right, common mistakes, opportunities for getting bumps and seat at your workshop. Right, people are not going to book and magically come at the event. I know. Even if they happen. pay money, it's true. Oh, yeah. It's true. Oh, yeah. I actually have one of the best um, turn-up rates in all – my industry like people that run half their workshops and I know well because we talk all the time they always expect a 20 percent of the people even if they pay not showing up and we get um probably a 10 percent um if that new people no yeah like, like a 10 percent over like we get we have to add chairs last workshop time. we had to add three chairs yeah so we actually do the opposite we actually always get people in the room because people brought friends and they didn't tell us which is a good problem to have <laughs> yeah 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 always 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 so let's have a look okay reminding attendees of all uh, of the workshop so don't expect the people book pay and put in the calendar they don't it's not happening no absolutely it's not happening and what i suggest as well is like actually i just come up with an idea right now <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I'm going to an event in a couple of weeks and I have noticed that my uh, ease emails are going to junk, which sometimes happens when you use Entrepot and other, and other platforms uh, in like MailChimp or whatever. So Google see it as a junk and they go, ah, junk, and it just goes there, even if you said this is no junk. So that will, that will happen. So if you are reminding attendees with um, an email series, then make sure that you don't just send that email from one email you might want to send an email manually as well just to make sure that they didn't miss it so in case you miss the other ones or you know you can send another one just to, to make sure that they don't miss it yeah you know what i mean because yeah. sometimes that happens but in our case i think we do enough we do yeah the other thing that we do is that um warm them up how do we warm them up we warm them up by... well, actually we're going to talk about that later we are we? we are so these are these are common things that uh -huh. these are the missed opportunities. So people miss opportunities by not reminding the attendees of the workshop, by not warming them up, and by not getting to know their attendees. And now we're going to show you yeah. how to do oh, it. Oh, we got a couple of comments. Michelle says, great advice. I email and text. Yes. Awesome. Perfect. <laughs> Amy, her inbox is full of UFM. Ah. <laughs> I love it. That's good. Not junk. <laughs> so pre-workshop procedure. So this, this is how. Yeah. So this is how um 
reminding attendees of the workshop, this is what we do. Um, and this is how we get such a high turnout rate. So yeah. we call them the week before. This is an actual phone call from Zoe to talk to them and get to know them, ask questions, see if they have any questions. We find out about their business. We ask them what they want to learn at the workshop. How did you hear about us? It's just a real genuine conversation to get to know them. And then it also builds that rapport because when they see Zoe at the workshop, they go, oh, I talked to you on the phone. And they've already got that rapport. So yeah. it's very, very important. When you started, tell the story. Okay. So I have to tell you, um, when I started working with Francesca last February, I started off doing sales and also um, pre-workshop procedures. So that was basically all I did. And I kind of thought it was a bit of overkill. That was what, that was my initial thought because I thought, okay, well, you're emailing these people, you're texting these people. Why do you really need to call them? But the more I talked to people, the more I realized that they loved it. And I cannot tell you how many times people said, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you called because I do have a question or I, I have no idea how to get to the venue. I've never heard of it before. Can you tell me how, you know, or we'd get into a conversation, um, which then helps them feel, you know, like they related to somebody. Oh, the, the workshop team. was just the right thing for, That's them, right. for them and yeah. they're not going to waste their time. And yeah. There's exactly. so much more and it's not just for getting them to attend, it's actually to convert them to the next level. That's right. So if you've been to our workshop and you got a workshop call, tell us what do you think because obviously you have been, all of you have been to our workshop. Yeah. Um, Linda, what um, SMS service do uh, we use in New Zealand? I can't tell you that because we couldn't find one that worked for us. <laughs> For New because Zealand, they were we were able to send, but we weren't able to get replies. We used text text magic in Australia. In Australia, but I think we found one eventually. Can you please message message me um, on? Um, can you put that question in? Ask a question, question in the Mafia Mafia Academy, and we'll. I think we found one eventually for the next time, didn't we? All right. So Amy says we need to employ someone in Australia. Not necessarily. For making the calls. Mm, yeah, true. Yeah, well, I used to do it myself, Amy. There you go. <laughs> I used to do it myself until I found someone, and then um, yeah, and then I, uh, and then I found someone that was you know just casual. Doesn't need to be. Yeah, I was I was very casual. She until was casual. Went crazy, and then I'm full time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She was casual for the beginning, or you know, on a, you know. Only you, at workshop times. Yeah. Only before workshop, I would make her calls. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so send an SMS the week before because people forget. They don't put it in their calendar. And tell them to reply yes or no. Yeah, so ask them for a reply. Are they coming or are they not coming? If people think that if they don't reply, they're going to lose their spot, they are going to reply. Mm -hmm. And then you're not going to say you will reply or, yeah. <laughs> or, or other. But you want to make sure that you, when you send an email, you say please reply yes or no because we're getting a lot of traction and a lot of people want to come along. And if you can't make it, we'll love you. You know, you love it to re reschedule you, but mm -hmm. you have to let us know now. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, people will reply. Most people will reply. And that's when we send another reminder the day before. If they don't reply, we keep sending his SMS until they reply. Yes. Or, or we call them. Or we call them. We usually call them. If yeah. they don't reply after two SMSs, we call them again. Yeah. So it's so very important. And then we send another reminder to everyone that they reply or not saying, can't wait for tomorrow. <laughs> so it's another real reminder. And we send another one on the day as on well. On the morning of, we do too. I need to write that in here. Yeah, because the morning of we say, hey, we'll see you in a couple of hours. Click here to pretty much come to the venue so that people don't have to go, oh, don't find the address anymore. And yeah. those things are still, like remember the buying box? They're still ticking boxes to get people warm to, to sign up. You know, and then they'll actually uh, like you already more. Mm -hmm. And also part of the pre-workshop procedure um, is to email them at the time of the booking so that they know that their booking went through. So hey, hey, congratulations for booking in. That is super important. Imagine buy something and then you get click nothing. it. You go, okay, did it go through? Like it was a spam, like it's a scam. Yeah. You know, you got so many questions in, in your head. Yes. So, oh, Amy, I remember the day I got a text. It was easy to quickly find the address, made it stress-free. Exactly. And you exactly. want to provide that same experience for your clients. So oh, stop it. Stress-free solution, baby. So good. All right. So at, at the, you want to email them right at their, as their booking goes through 10 days before the event, seven days before the event, three days before the event, and the day before. Do you think it's overkill? No, because they're not going to open all of them. 
they will not open but, all of them. But the email will remind them. Even mm -hmm. if they don't see, they don't open it, they will see it and they go, oh yeah, 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 true is coming. So they'll probably leave it there. They don't know, we're not gonna file it because they haven't so read it. 10 days out, they probably won't read that one. No. Seven days out, probably no. not. But as it starts to get closer, three days before they're going, oh yeah. <laughs> and once you have a, a tracking system like we're doing on Traport, then you'll be able to start to see who we'll open or doesn't open. And when we call, we can talk. And there's another talking seating. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And also the phone call is really important because if they're not getting your emails for some reason, you can say, oh, check your junk your junk box or whatever. Sometimes yeah. they go there or you can say, let me look into why you're not getting the email. So it's a good way to stop problems before they happen. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. So do it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, another thing that you can do is add them to the meetup event as well. And they'll get reminders through meetup. So you create a half day workshop event in meetup. Um, and then they'll get the reminders for meetup as well. But let them know that that's going to happen. So yes. don't just do it without sending the phone call. Say, hey, you want us to see? We also have a meetup group. We've got this many people in the meetup group. You know, you can see this event and other events coming up. It's up to you, but obviously you are. So let them know they're going to receive double reminders. Right. Yep. Um, and then the last one is to add them to your Facebook group for the half day attendees um, and ask them to introduce themselves. So that's one thing that we do. We've got the, at the top of our funnel, once again, that funnel. Entrepreneur's Abundance Mindset, that Facebook group is for everybody in the world that wants to join <laughs> right here for Let the Half Day Workshop. Morning. I know, it's a good thing you did this. The Half Day Workshop, we've got the FM tribe or the Follow Me tribe, and everybody that goes to our Half Day Workshop gets added to the Follow Me tribe group, and we ask them to introduce themselves and share what city that they'll be attending the workshop in. So it gets that engagement, they feel like they're a part of something, and they even connect with people before they get with the workshop, get to the workshop, which is super important to people. Yeah, because then they've got relationship with people already in the room, and then they're, they're gonna be more keen to come along. And I promise you that the other people that are running events, they don't, that's the only thing that they don't do, and that's how I think the reason why they get 20% of people not showing up. Mm -hmm. Or B, how do you add someone to meet up? So they have to be part of your meetup event yeah. and then you need to manually um, add them. So again, Sarah B, I really strongly recommend you the next Monday and Tuesday, you watch the pre-work webinar because we cover all these in the uh, pre-work webinar for the group. So we already covered cover these uh, with you, but probably, you, you know, a lot of information at once. Yes. So I really recommend you to watch it back because it's really about like, it's, I can't explain it to you now because I need to show it and that's what we do uh, in the pre-work webinar. So please watch it back, yeah? Uh, because it's very simple once you know how to do it. All right. All right, so once you've got everybody at the workshop, you've given your amazing content, they love it, they're buzzing, and then you have an opportunity to get some clients. And to help them and to, you know, offer a service. So again, what we need to understand is that selling is not just making money. No. Selling is often an opportunity and actually be able to uh, tell people, I'm here for you and I can hold your hand if you want to. And it's true. Obviously, there's money, you know, it's, it's an exchange of uh, money because you can't just give without making money. But the thing is, if you don't offer them to help them, then you're not. It's literally, this is how it is. Mm -hmm. So... These are uh, things that we notice that um, someone um, don't, um, you know, that someone haven't done uh, many of these things. And it's really um, very simple and very easy. And it gets better, obviously, as you, as you do it. Sarah B, darling. Can you please send me the times of the links? Yeah, we'll yes. send you the links. Yes, darling, of course. We'll send you the, uh, the links and the times, all of it. Cool. Um, so... No call to action. No okay. call to action is one of the biggest one ever. Oh, it's so hard to go to a workshop and you leave going, now what? I don't know what to do. I don't know how to work with this person. And sometimes I told you the story when I had that one person showing up in my half day workshop and I was at the end, I was like, okay, done. See ya. I was in buzz because I'm like only one person. I'm not going to sell it. We're going to feel selling to da, 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 da. And she was like, Okay, well, can you talk about the mafia? I'm like, yeah, call me, call me. Like, I was doing that too, right? And she was like, hello, I'm ready to buy. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, all right. And I was panicking because I didn't know how to do it, but I wasn't here. It was only in my head. I was doing my fears and I was not listening to what the clients need. It's doing a disservice, not tell them what's next. 
It really mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. And it's rude. I just spent four hours of my time. You didn't give me all the answers because you can't physically to give me all the answers in four hours. And you're not even telling me what to work with you. Exactly. Michelle said, yes, she's seen it and learned from watching others like, like Renee. Yeah, because Renee has a call to action yeah in her in her workshops yeah, yeah and so even for us you know not only do we have a call to action with the mafia where where people can work with us and get the step-by-step -step strategies but we also give them a call to action at the half day workshop to post a 60 second live in the follow me tribe so that's something simple that even if they're not ready to take that step with the mafia they can do a 60 second video so that and, they feel yeah and also that video is another way for us to connect with them and say hey you've done the video well done or you haven't done it yet well you know give maybe you are ready you don't think you are but let's have a chat let's sign up for a qualifying chat yeah. which we'll talk about in a minute yeah but, yeah so there's really a lot of things that you can do not just the sales call yes. to action uh but i would not complicate it for you for now just do one call to action which is the the, the offering them the next level yes all right, so another missed opportunity at workshops is there's no procedure to buy straight at the workshop. So just like you said, when that, when that person was wanting to buy, you said, I'll call you later. Yeah. No, yeah. oh, I've got my money, I've got my card, I'm ready. I'm trying to throw money at you and you're going to call me later? Ah! <laughs> wrong, wrong, and, I, and guys, I've done it, but the thing is, we are here to show you the why, because, uh, you know, you don't want to miss the opportunities. If people are ready to buy, you need to either have a form to say, yeah, fill up the form, put your card details, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll charge it, and you don't charge it four hours later, you charge it as soon as it's finished, like you yeah. see, literally there, and you just charge it. It's the first thing that you do. When people want to give you money, you drop everything and you charge. And it's not because um, we are desperate. Money, yeah. We're not desperate. No. It's just that, you know, you want to get the clients when they're hot, when they're there. And, and you're helping them make that commitment. Yes. You're helping them yeah. make a commitment. It's like, you know, think about an appointment. If I say, Jamie, let's catch up. Okay. All right. See ya. How does she feel? Like, Lost, okay, we well, uh, feel we, dropped. I feel. Yeah. <laughs> are we catching up or are you just saying it so then you don't ask you again? Like, is it really happening? Yeah. And then imagine that she goes, okay, when? Yeah. Okay, right. When? When? I, I'll call you. Oh, okay. And then I call her like after a couple of days. Oh, yeah. Did you want us to catch up? You'd be like, no. I'm not really a priority to you, am I? That's right. It's so true, <laughs> isn't it? It's true. We just had the best example ever. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> Shut up. Did you guys love it as much as we did? Because we loved it. Oh, uh, Amy, she's done that twice. It's okay. You can change. <laughs> now that now that you see it, they come up with excuses. Yes. Once if you call them after, they will absolutely. I mean, now you lost the opportunity to help them. So it's important that for us we understand that selling is not selling. Selling is offering a service and giving us literally giving a hand offering a hand to mm -hmm, people mm -hmm. so so you know if someone asks you to catch up you just want to do it we love you too <laughs> oh we love you too Michelle. uh thank you Michelle. <laughs> okay all right so next right. one another common missed opportunity is no qualifying chat to work with you oh uh, yeah 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 that is the worst yeah so Sarah B is asking, what's the best way to take the money at the event? I've been sending them PayPal invoices so far. Yeah, so Sarah B, PayPal invoices is great. The other option is I used to have literally a piece of paper and say, hey, fill this out with a credit card. And then when I would go home, um, I had my bank, um, I put, you know, you go to your bank and ask them how, how, um, how is the merchant um, ID working, like what type of. Uh, mentioned facilities they have and I had one uh, at the time there was the less uh, it wasn't an F2 machine for me I don't Square have where is 20 bucks at Bunnings I have one it hooks into my phone I can take a card payment yeah easy there you go so there's also a machine run that nowadays yeah. that they, they go into your phone there is one um if even PayPal's got one there's yeah, different, they different ones but I would suggest to find the cheapest one. obviously we've got to be careful like how much is square uh, charging like you need to look at commission because when you start to sell your two-day workshop and you're talking about thousands of dollars then obviously the commission the higher it is the, the yeah, less there's money. paypal there's square you just need to look into it and see yeah what's the best i had one you. with west park and now i've got one with uh eway which i love yeah bunnings bunnings oh it's square yeah, do your research online, look at PayPal fees, look at Square fees, see what's the best deal for you. Like but, Square, like literally Square. Yeah, yeah, Square. 
do any not charge. I have not found no. them that doesn't. They all do. <laughs> of course, Amy. That's how, that's how they make their money. Yes, yeah. all of them charge. What's the best way to take the money out of that? We'll yeah, just that one. Okay. okay. Cool. So with the qualifying chat, you want to make sure that, that you're a good fit for them and that they're a good fit for you. Yeah, so the qualifying chat is not just for you to sell them into something. It's about you know building that relationship with them and understanding if you really can help them. Because we said not before to people, not to be rude, so but times. because we thought at the time we're not a fit. And then I've got now people in the market that I said not before. And now they are in because I feel that there's something has shifted energetically, either for me or for them. It doesn't need to be just for them. Maybe it needed to be for me. So. Uh, it's, it's your business so you can say not to people if you want to um, and if I don't feel that I can help someone I don't I would never take them I remember the first time I saw you do that I was like I, this lady was ready to pay like pay in full and I was like oh, and you were like Jamie she's not ready I can't help her at this point I'm not going to take her money and I was like wow <laughs> and it's, it, it can be like shocking yeah. because because um, if you're you know, especially for people that want to help you. Like Jamie was trying to help me to sell it. Go, okay, I'll just got your lead, and you don't want to sell it. I'm like, well, because it's gonna, it's gonna, it's not gonna work. Because eventually, it's gonna ask me for a refund, and then I'm not gonna have the money to refund. Because at the time, that's how I used to be. There was no money in the account. So I was afraid of getting money from people that then I had to get back because <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. So, you know, I'd rather say, say no. But obviously, don't. I, I'm looking, I've learned to look into is this a fear? Like, am I saying no because of fear or am I saying no because it truly is not going to work? Mm -hmm. So, it's important for you to have a look where, where you're sitting. But yeah. qualifying chat, I used to be by myself asking for qualifying chat and I had to go to people and say, How did you find it? Did you want to chat with me? And I used to do that and you have to, you have to. All right, Amy says, usually you know that they're not going to be a good client. That's why, right, Amy, absolutely. Tell. Okay, yeah. let's let's go. All right, so another missed opportunity is no Kit Kat question. All right, so Kit Kat question is, I've done a video before, so I hope hopefully you've seen it, but I've done a Facebook Live on the Mafia as well about it, which is, what's your, what's your question? You know, I had the service station, they asked you, do you want to Kit Kat for one? for the price of one and it, you know it's every six person the one person every six people one person says yes and there's 65,000 more in revenue at the end of the year for that uh, specific shell um, um, service station so it's about what is your question that you're not asking that you could ask so since then we have our kit card question which is uh, would you like two books like a book and a planner for forty dollars or fifty dollars and um usually every single event we are selling around between 100 to 200 i was going to say it's about 180 every event just because we're asking that question yeah so that's very powerful that adds up. So obviously at the end of the year, that could be an extra, you know, $6,000 that pretty much pays for, uh, um, you know, nearly one virtual assistant, which is great. Yeah. So yeah, it's dissatisfying for you and for them, Amy, when you don't qualify them. I agree. Totally agree. Okay. So not taking ownership of the workshop or taking control. Yeah. How many of you have been to a workshop where somebody that's in the audience just totally takes over? Yeah. It's, it's, it's very, embarrassing. It's, it's very annoying as well because yeah. I paid to learn from the speaker, not from the person sitting next to me. And so I'd rather that the, the owner, the, the person that's running the event, needs to learn how to not that, make that happen. And we all make mistakes and so we let other people take over. But it's very important that you as the organizer find a really nice way to say, hey, is it okay if we talk about that a little bit later? I've just got so much more that I want to share. I don't want to, uh, you know, uh, run out of time. And that would be a really nice way to do it. It is. There's multiple ways to do it, but please, please, please find a way uh, for you to take control and share as much as possible. And if you are having an interaction workshop, that's perfect, but keep it short and brief and keep it, um, um, yeah, keep, keep the control and the eyes on you. Mm -hmm. Don't let people go off on their tangents. Yes. <laughs> All right. And another missed opportunity can be created when you don't have a crew member to help you. So make sure that you have crew there once again to free you up. Um, we, after the workshop, that's a prime time for Frances to get selfies with people and say, hey, am I chatting with you? But if she's busy doing crew things, if she's checking attendee lists and if she's putting away chairs and if she's trying to find music, that doesn't free you up to connect with people. So make sure you've got crew that are there to support you and help you connect with people that go to your workshop. Absolutely. In saying that, 
I didn't have crew when I used to go to Sydney, Melbourne by myself and, and traveling a lot. So I've done it many times by myself. It's possible, but you have to go to the venue two hours before, be super organized and have everything in place. And then you don't need uh, you know, to rush off. So very That's important true. that you either organize yourself because you don't have to have crew. If you have a small number, like you have three or four people, that's fine. Yeah. But you have to be organized yourself. You can't change things at last minute. You can't. You need to be a super organized. All right, guys. We just look at the time. Oh, right on time. It. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy this uh, the monthly VIP webinar. Next month, we're gonna talk about Meetup One or One. And thanks for your input. I loved the questions. Yes. I love yes. everything. And Sarah, so. we're gonna send you the details now. How did you decide? Pork and crook because New Zealand is no mafia. Um, Linda, that's a very great question. I, can I answer that? Yes. I actually, I live far away from most mafias. So my first event, I had two friends crew for me, non-mafians, but I briefed them and said, this is what I want from you. Because mafia We're going to give of, you a, a checklist. Yeah, we'll give you all of that. So you can have good friends, people that you trust crew for you. So make no sure problem. that they come early enough so you can brief them, yeah? yeah? There's always a way. I didn't have mafians when I was doing it. No, in that, true, yeah? true. Thank you. Thank you, gorgeous. It was fabulous. Yay, thank you. Go and get, make, some, make some money, guys. You've got the people. Now it's time to make some more money. I use my daughter. That's right. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I love travel. So happy to help. Oh, thanks, oh, Amy. Lovely. Hear that, Linda? Uh -huh. Amy loves traveling. <laughs> do you give them something? Yes, you can give them a crew checklist. We'll give it all to you at the two day. Yeah, but like, do you mean you give them something like in exchange? Oh, okay. Just tell them that they can come for free. So that means they're going to enjoy the day and learn so I much. Mine, I bought mine a drink. I bought mine a drink. Yeah, a drink that like, so you can get them lunch or something like that. But okay. always remember that you've got time. Thank you, Linda. Thank you so much. All right, ladies and gentlemen. See ya. See Thank ya. you so much. Bye.